When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling and the whole world smiles with you. And when you're laughing, when you're laughing oh you're laughing, oh, you're laughing. Mm, when the sun comes shining through. shining through, when you're crying, when you're crying, you bring on the rain. Well, the cars are being switched. You're about to see the the new uh, car that's coming in. We're swapping the, the Impala for the Chevy Silverado, which uh, the maiden voyage today, we're going to be driving that down to Mission Viejo for an unfortunate circumstance. This weekend, uh, the Huntington Beach Concourse de Elegance is happening, and I am the Grand Marshal for that show on Saturday, the, the Hot Rods in the Park. So if you're thinking of something to do and you really need to show your car or go come see some cool cars, you should come to that show. It's at the Huntington Library. Starts early in the morning, goes till about two o'clock. And to top it all off, as if today wasn't awesome enough, Kathy just informed me that she's making bacon peanut butter toast. Vegan, of course. Not the peanut butter, but the bacon part. So, um... Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? <laughs> Finally, uh, bacon peanut butter toast. Or peanut butter bacon toast. Okay. <laughs> Either one. However, uh, we however. have two different types of bacon that we're trying. So this is like a taste test. Mm -hmm. Veggie bacon. Veggie bacon. Okay, we got, uh, this is corn. Bacon style slices, doesn't look anything like bacon, but kind of more like ham than bacon. Mm -hmm. And then we got Morning Star uh, bacon strips, which um, we love. Those are really awesome. It's the closest thing to bacon that there is. But. That's for the doggies. That's <laughs> for the dogs. Okay. All right, you go first. All right. I'm going to try the corn. It's more like ham. Hmm. Maybe I didn't make it crispy enough. I like this. That one's better. That's more like bacon. Mm. Yeah, that tastes more like ham. Okay, note to corn. Start calling these ham slices. You'll sell more. And we'll eat more of them. But the bacon is still our favorite. Who wants a treat? Want to try this new product? Uh-oh. Looks like it's a no-no for the corn. Oh, oh they took it. <laughs> right, today we start a brand new segment. Uh, it's called What's In My, or in this case, What's On My. And that is, it's not like what I'm wearing or something, but it's what's on my shelf today. And what's on my shelf are these. These are brushes. These are Winsor Newton Series 7 Sable brushes. They're very expensive. Uh, and the reason I point that out that they're expensive is because when I got them years ago, I got them at a swap meet and I asked the guy how much all these brushes were. To give you an idea, this one is about a hundred bucks if you buy it new in the store. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. And he said, I'll take 10 bucks for the whole lot. That was pretty awesome. So I offered him eight. Impala we're driving is going to go back and we're going to swap it for Chevy's new, it's a behemoth truck. For those of you ranchers out there that need to carry, you know, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of ranch type stuff. What else would someone need a Silverado for? Boats. Boats. Kayaks. You want to pull your boat, you want to pull your paddle boards. I think you can toss your paddle boards. Toss them in the back. Toss them in the back. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Alright, the Silverado is here. We're gonna go check it out. They're gonna take the Impala away. We got a big truck. It's a big truck. Very nice. Come here. This is Robert. So Robert brought me this uh, incredible truck today from Chevy. Yes. And you're taking you're taking the Impala away. Yeah. Which Sorry. one do you like better? Mm. The truck or the Impala? It depends on what you want to use it for. 
So, yeah, I mean, you can't put paddle boards in the back of the Impala. Right. right. But in the truck, it's rocking. Well, since you live close to the beach, yeah. I think the truck is better. It's going to be better because we got plans. Right. We got good stuff. Is there anything about this truck I should know? Um, well, it has a Z71 package. Um, Ooh, so it's quick. It has, has a little bit of a pickup, uh, 6.2 that's liter. A, that's a truck jump, right? A little bit of pickup? A little bit of pickup. Page <laughs> okay. one is awesome. These guys uh, handle these cars incredibly well. I just want to make sure I always return the cars to you in the shape that they show up here. Right. And you sometimes don't get that, right? Sometimes. It is very we, little signs. We, we won't name names, but right, sometimes right. They, they don't quite look exactly the same. Right. Okay. Awesome. So you trust me with the car? I do trust you. All right. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. We're going to have a blast. Thank you. All right. The master key for the truck. Right on. Nice. This is the Chevy Silverado with the Z71 package. I have no idea what that means but it's probably cool. Look out, plug your nose, here comes the pumper. Uh, not the pumper. <laughs> now he kind of looks like a bullet on the side. Does he? Oh yeah, and he goes like this. <laughs> Did that work? No, not really. Yeah, it's cute. They're kind of like ear hands. Yeah. Sure. All right, uh, bullet update. Kathy is nearly complete on her bullet, and um, it's taken on a personality of its own. Huge, huh? Yeah, it's awesome looking. All right, now we are we are in the Silverado and we're heading down to Mission Viejo. Uh, why? I'll tell you in a minute. Kathy wants to stop at Topanga and check out the waves, so we're gonna do that. center back in the 80s and my good friend Al Palma was a designer with me we did a lot of projects together and uh, Al came from uh, kind of the Midwest with his brother Max and his uh, his family kind of came out with them eventually and they moved into Orange County uh, recently his dad unfortunately passed away from lung cancer so we are going down to pay our respects down in Mish Viejo where that's taking place. Uh, it's a difficult thing for lots of people when they lose parents especially. And uh, it's important that, that we go do that so uh, we're heading down to, uh, to see those guys. First impressions with the Z71 Chevy. What do you got? It's big. It's a truck. I like it. It's actually huge. We need an I intercom, an intercom system between talking back and forth. Yeah. It's 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. Kathy loves torque. We talk torque, torque all day long. Towing capacity, a lot. <laughs> Gas mileage. Gas mileage, 21 miles per gallon highway, less than that in the city. And it gets, it has a 26 gallon tank, which means we won't be filling up on the way down to Mission Viejo and back. 
Thank God. Good. Uh, the the only stat left is that's really worth mentioning is it's forty five thousand eight hundred. That's a lot of dough. What else could you do with forty five thousand dollars? I think I could go around the world a few times. Not in this truck. No. 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 But you could. Airplane, boat, lots of things. Right. But if you were a rancher, it would be better to buy this truck when you travel around the world because you got all those cows and everything else. That so we had an interesting time at the, the service. Went really well. And now we gotta go to Trader Joe's for some reason. Don't know why. Plants. Plants. And then we're going to Veggie Grill. We're gonna go to Veggie Grill. Right. That was awesome. It was. Veggie Girl rocks. <laughs> uh, I don't care if you're vegetarian or not. Uh, that restaurant is awesome. Thank you.